Victory as Standing Rock. The Army, Corps, the Army Corps of Engineers has refused to grant a license for energy transfer partners to drill under, under the lake, creating a hazard for the drinking water of millions of people. Awesome. It's great. It seems like a victory, but wait. The Army Corps of Engineers under President Obama has denied the permit. The company Energy Transfer Partners still wants to drill. Drill, baby, drill. So what's going to happen? They're going to wait just a few weeks. Although they initially had a deadline that they needed to get the drilling done, they can wait. And then when Donald Trump is president, what will happen next? So the fight isn't over. Standing Rock has a minor victory, but Standing Rock has not won the war. The war still rages on, and people with deep pockets are willing to wait to win that war. This is unceded Sioux Indian territory by treaty that we gave to the Native Americans. They should not be there. They should not be digging. They should not be anywhere near burial grounds. And if they are anywhere near burial grounds, they need to reroute. Why is it so hard for energy transfer partners to put in the time and energy to reroute and get away from all of this protest and this, these issues? Why? It doesn't make sense. It's not a matter of dollars and cents because all of the money they're giving the cops to abuse and brutalize the Standing Rock water protectors, that is money wasted. Especially now that, that the Standing Rock water protectors have won a minor victory. And now there are thousands of veterans there. Veterans, they swear to protect Americans from enemies foreign and domestic. And energy transfer partners using the police in that area, along with police from other areas, are at this point domestic terrorists. I, I said it. I, they're domestic terrorists terrorizing a people who have every right to be there, and they should not be there. So the Army Corps of Engineers did the right thing. Now, when President-elect Trump takes office since he has money invested in energy transfer partners let's see what he does so as I said Standing Rock you've won this victory but you have not won the war the battles continue we should all keep our eyes open and we should all keep checking in at Standing Rock on Facebook until once and for all Energy Transfer Partners decides to reroute their pipeline and then as we watch they actually do it and then once they reroute it and they do that our victory will be won. Now I want to give you guys a little bit more background on Standing Rock. Okay. Number one, there is already an existing pipeline approved by the tribes along the same route. Number two, the pipeline traverses privately owned land only and all owners of that land voluntarily sign easement deals. Number three, the Missouri River intake serving the tribe is being switched to Mobridge, South Dakota nearly 50 miles south of the current water intake and about 70 miles south of the planned Dakota Access River crossing by the end of the year. Number four, there are already eight pipelines including the northern border pipeline that runs the exact same route and was built in 1982 that crosses the Missouri River. Number five, 389 meetings took place between the U.S. Army Corps and the 55 tribes about the Dakota Access Project. 
In addition, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe met individually with the U.S. Army Corps nearly a dozen times to discuss archaeological and other surveys conducted to finalize the Dakota Access Route. And even with all of that, even with all of that, the Army Corps and Energy Transfer Partners decided to do what they wanted to do. Well, now the water protectors, along with veterans, have won a minor victory, but the war rages on. And we just have to wait and see what happens, but we have to be on guard. So that if something happens that we don't like, something happens that we don't want, we can continue the battle until the war is won. Congratulations, water protectors at Standing Rock. And thank you, Army Corps of Engineers. Hold on to what is the right thing to do, which is to stop the brutalizing of Native Americans protesting the pipeline. There is no equality in the battles at Standing Rock. These are people being brutalized by militarized police for a major, for a corporation. It is all about dollars and cents. And it seems like all of the wars that we've had in our recent history as America has been about dollars and cents. And it's time for us to be more about our environment. It's time for us to be more about the rights that people are born with. It's time for America to be about and, and, and what we are supposed to stand for as a nation, what we say we stand for as a nation, which we tell countries worldwide we stand for as a nation. But then you see things like Standing Rock, which proves what we say we stand for as a nation changes drastically when dollars and cents and oil is involved. We need to change that. But the last thing I will say is congratulations Standing Rock on winning this battle. Now let's go on and win the war.